Hello, I'm Joe Barks. Welcome to The Road Ahead, brought to you by Club Resort Business, Club Resort Chef, and the Club Resort Chef Association. Today's episode is sponsored by Club Procure, a food buy company. Club Procure's membership spans from coast to coast and ranges from nine-hole public facilities to elite private clubs. Members can enjoy savings on programs from more than 100 suppliers, can leverage strategic relationships with well-known manufacturers and distributors, and gain tremendous buying power within each area of your operation. The dedicated Club Procure team is always there to assist you and to help you maximize the savings that best fit your needs. Learn more at clubprocure.com. For today's episode, highlighting how clubs are moving forward to create successful new programs, events, and amenities, and enhance the member experience, we're going to look at the beyond outrageous mini golf course that's been set up in the clubhouse of White Marsh Valley Country Club in Lafayette Hill, Pennsylvania. With us today are the two staff members who were most responsible for conceiving and creating the course, facilities manager, Kevin Kilgore, and executive chef, Drew Smallback. Thank you both for giving us a few minutes today. And before we have you take us around this course and show us why it's definitely not your average putt-putt layout, let's start by having you tell us how and, what, how and when this idea came about and why is it called Beyond Outrageous? The first start off with Beyond Outrageous, we were able to get 18 custom-made mini golf course holes in the ballroom. We have water features, we've got fog, we've got tiki gods. Um, it's Beyond Outrageous. It's something you would see on your Jersey Shore, hanging out with your family, and we brought basically the, the tropics from the outside inside to a uh, a COVID winter stricken area for us. So uh, that was kind of the first thing to kind of make it beyond outrageous. What were the primary roles that each of you took on when you had to plan this and put it all together and, and who else from the club staff got involved? Uh, I was, I built it uh, and my staff, uh, Ross uh, Eckstein, who's our cameraman right now, and uh, our housekeeper Marissa, Channing was the other, and they both every day were with me uh, working on the construction of the course. Chef took care of purveying all of our awesome display pieces here, the palm trees, the tiki gods. Um, so it was very uh, collaborative between the two of us. And Drew, you, I heard you cooked up a recipe for everything, right? Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, it's hard. I'm curious to know how many pieces of wood, how many nails, and I'm sure all those other chefs out there that do a, have a banquet are curious, how many shrimp did you go through for a large banquet? So getting the recipe together and picking Kevin's brain on how many boxes of nails and how many 500 nails that were in there or screws. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting recipe, but I doubt it can be duplicated. Uh, Kevin worked about five and a half weeks of every single day, 10 hours straight, uh, continuously under a timeline to get this built. Um, so where exactly is this in your clubhouse and what was in that space before and how long does it take to play? You say it's 18 holes. How long does it take to play? 35, 40 minutes to play. Um, it's in our ballroom um, and our ballroom wasn't being used. So uh, this, this gave us uh, something for the members to get out and do. How did you offer it to the members? What was the cost and what times has it been available? How do they reserve it? What's been required for equipment and playing it? So we supply all the equipment. We supply putters, we supply balls. We went ahead and got uh, true neon style balls, but like Titleist balls, the same type of ball that they would use out on the golf course rather than using a putt-putt ball. Um, we supply all that. There's no cost to the membership. We just want them to come to the club. And we're finding that they're coming to the club, they're dining, they're enjoying the food, they're having a drink while we're you know, continue practicing social distancing, um, but it gives them a chance to get out, get away from home, um, you know, and again, in a safe area and they're home away from home as a club. Um, so did it get some members in that you hadn't seen in a while? Absolutely, absolutely, because they were curious. There was a buzz, there was people talking about it. So yeah, we've seen some people, and then we see repeat customers. We see them coming back, you know, as, you know, they might have a child's birthday coming up and they're able to bring over you know, four or five of their friends and they can make it a birthday party here. So from every age group, it's, it's been a home run. Um, and we're extremely proud of it. You know, as as we're, we're giving you a tour right now, we actually just started putting some decor on it with some clovers, 
some uh, all the Irish stuff to go with our uh, St. Patrick's weekend. Just got a little fun for it, uh, just to add it. So this is actually our last week of it. So we'll be starting to break it down. It's going to take about a week to break down the whole thing. Um, but we will be able to use it in the future, hopefully, in the parking lots, special events, uh, team building. If a company wants to come out to the club and have lunch, uh, do team building of some sort as getting off their property, we can host that. So there's definitely some future plans to market it. Um, and next year for the winter. Yeah, and next year, if there's not a lot of weddings and stuff going on, uh, we'll, we'll reserve a month for our membership, again, to keep them active at the club. And there'll be some other surprises for us uh, for next year, uh, certainly. It's you know. adapting stuff. So. Yeah. Let's we'll we'll see, we'll see some of the crazier things here. I mean, what, where the heck did you get some of this stuff, and how'd you, how'd you build it? <laughs> so a lot of the stuff, you know, again, the golf course is all hand-built by Kevin, from turf to two-by-fours, four-by-sixes, drywall screws, Loctite screws, and endless amounts of stuff. Nothing came fabricated. We stained it all. As far as the decor goes, we looked at some different um, uh, theater prop prop companies in the area that had some extra stuff, and we were able to work out a really great deal and got the the luau Hawaiian theme that went really well um, from the Aztec Mayan temple. We were able to install a fog machine in there. The, the endless amount. I think we have about 14 palm trees in here. It's two people guys. Um, we even got this really cool um, loop de loop that's here that was from a, a company in North, northern Pennsylvania that was custom made for us. Um, and uh, so, I mean, again, every trick, and it's not an easy course. It's, it's hard. It's got some Kevin, I heard you put in some undulating greens and little humps and things like that. Yeah, too. put some rough in. Nothing's, yeah, nothing's easy. It looks smooth until your ball goes over. Yeah, we have humps and valleys. Um, and there's two hole locations on almost every hole. So look on this one. So we can change, every week we change it up. See? So we can switch it and change out the hole location. Um, we also, everything is modular. So we can take the runoff of hole 11 and switch it with hole 10. Take hole 10 and run and switch it with hole four. So everything is modular and it's all meant that we can mix it up. So of course, every week could be different. So it's had some challenge for even your better golfers there? Uh, yeah, we actually had four or five guys uh, one Saturday. Chef said they must have played four times in a row having to come. Uh, really? Playing. Yeah, so we even, like I said, from the kids to the adults seem to really enjoy it. Especially when we had snow on the course outside, freezing temperatures. It was nice to make come in here and still play some golf and have fun. Well, that's great. Anything else you want to point out before we sign off here? Yeah. We'll, we'll be bringing it back next year. There's talks of the lazy river. I mean, we've got we've got a volcano in the works. We've got 200 gallons of water in the pool or in the ballroom right now. Again, it's um, we're real proud of it and appreciate you giving us a little exposure on this too. Well, thank you for giving us a tour and filling us in on how it all came about. And it certainly ranks as one of the more ambitious and original pro approaches to mini golf we've ever seen in a club setting. So we'll look forward to hearing how it continues to bring distinction to White Marsh Valley and about the next Beyond Outrageous idea that you guys come up with too. Thanks again. Once again, this has been The Road Ahead, brought to you by Club Resort Business, Club Resort Chef, and the Club Resort Chef Association. And today's episode was sponsored by Club Procure. If you have a great idea or success story you'd like to see featured on a future episode of The Road Ahead, please contact us at editor at clubandresortbusiness.com.